Good morning, Cyber Warriors. Today's little PowerShell video, or this particular PowerShell video, is going to be utilizing the PowerShell pipeline to enable and disable individual local user accounts. Or we could do them all in one fell swoop. We'll show you both ways. All right. So as per normal, we need to know what command is available for us to use within the PowerShell. And we're going to look at the local users. And remember, uh, PowerShell commands are broken up into verbs and nouns. So the noun, local user, is all the different things we're going to be using to, and then the verb portion is enable, disable, get, new, all these different things. It allows us the different options and actions we could take against that particular group. All right, so now what we need to do is take a look at the local users, what we have in there available. There's the default settings. And if we want to take a look at the different settings and things that you can do within there, we can actually put that into get member. And this now shows us all the different properties and the properties that we want uh, that show us the different things we can call specifically. Name, full name, enabled, password last set, all very good pieces of information. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all of these local users and we're going to be enabling and disabling them. Currently the only account that is enabled is the student account. That's us. And as it says, this is you. Don't muck with it. I put that in there to remind myself not to muck with it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we want to enable Multar's account because Multar is the director for Space Goes Coast to Coast and he needs to be able to use the system. So, uh, what were those commands again? Enable. Simple. Alright, so we're going to double click to highlight, right click to paste, and right click to enter. And all we need to do is put in Multar. Don't do it that way, because that is an error. See how PowerShell lets you go, I think you need to fix that. Okay, so let's take a look at local user. We see that Multar and student are both enabled. It's great. But now we need to enable more than one account all at one time. So we, I know which accounts we need to have enabled we need to enable TAD and Zorak, both of those together. So let's do those together in one command as opposed to just enabling one at a time. This allows us to use the PowerShell pipeline to do multiple things at the same time. It's wonderful. So get local user. We're going to select the name. All right, so that just gives us the name column. Now we're going to apply a search criteria where object name. And we're going to do more than one, so we're going to give it an array. So in and to open and close parentheses, and we've got the single quote, single quote, since we have two different names that we're going to do, right? So we wanted to do tad. So copy, paste, copy this one, and paste again, and we double check. Yes, these are the two accounts that we need. Beauty. So now we we'll grab one more thing in the pipeline, and we need to do what with those accounts? Enable them, right? So enable local user. Boom, done. see that all of those accounts are enabled and now we get news that uh, Multar and Zorak the director and the band leader have been fired so we need to disable those accounts so what we need to do is we're going to do something very similar to what we had before We're 
changing that command so that Multar and Zorak, and we're going to disable those accounts. And we see that only Tad and myself are still left in the system. But sadly, Space Ghost Coast to Coast was canceled. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable local user tad and verify once again student is the last man standing and there we have it it's using the PowerShell PowerShell pipeline to enable or disable multiple local user accounts and I hope to see you in the next video.